Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Friday, February the 18th, 2011. It's time to look at the markets. Check this out. Okay, we're going to go around the globe and look at all the world markets and see what we have opportunities and what's going on in the markets. Right now, we're looking at Australia. You can see ticker symbols A R. I'm sorry, A O R D. And we told you back here you had a buy opportunity. Look for this high to be taken out, and you are in that current uh, trend right there. Uh, you have a continuation candlestick to the upside, so I expect this to continue moving upward uh, when you first enter the opportunity based on a bullish engulfing signal. You set the stop at the lowest point of the candlestick, and you want to advance that stop loss limit as you go. So you should be advancing that stop at least underneath uh, the low point of that candlestick at this point and next week you'd advance it again and so forth and so on okay but it, currently you're still in an uptrend and I can continue to do that and you're not overbought notice the RSI is at 6583 70 or higher is so where you start getting overbought and you start getting concerned you're not there yet quick look here at the Dow Jones Industrial Average you pointed out this one is a bit uh, overextended as far as uh, short term goes you'll notice that you've had a close above the upper Bollinger Band line back here again this week like we told you last week though this can continue to do that for a while you can continue to press that upper Bollinger Band line keep doing that back, get back here right this is not new and you can get overbought and stay overbought for a short term uh, short period as well so this is still trending higher you've got higher highs and higher lows we're expecting the uptrend and actually uh, you'll notice you had a nice move here and then kind of slow down advancing and then burst again and start to pick up momentum to the upside something else to note Whenever you're looking at Friday's market close uh, anywhere, uh, but the overall markets for especially, and you look in to figure out whether investors are bullish or bearish, you can look at Friday's close as a sentiment indicator for you. Uh, if they sell off on Friday going into the weekend, they're not confident. They don't want to hold going into it, the weekend, the unknown period, so they'll sell. If they're more bullish, they'll buy up and hold over the weekend with no concern for it. So looking at today's activity, you have the markets up substantial here in the U.S. And the Dow Jones is up really good, and uh, you're looking at a three-day week. And remember, uh, markets are closed in the U.S. on Monday for President's Day, so you can see it's a lot of really bullish sentiment out there. People are really starting to get uh, a good feel for this market, and that's showing up on the charts. Quick look here at gold. Back here, you were shorting, selling. Here, you got stopped out. We told you back here you'd like to get a bounce off this previous. Uh, uh, resistance support line and you had this support as well and the lower Bollinger Band line all that stuff was going to cause uh, some uh, support there you got to bounce off that we told you here that we expected bounce but we didn't have an entry opportunity not a bullish engulfing signal here so we weren't going to take that you want a bullish engulfing like this uh, and we didn't have that here but we told you you could trade GLD ticker symbol GLD and that would give you an opportunity to play that had you done that you're making money with this move to the upside very well done if you're still in an upward trend keep advancing your stop Okay, looking at the Hong Kong Hang Seng Index, last week we told you we had a sell signal here, but I wouldn't take that. Let me explain why I said that. I didn't go into a lot of detail, so I want to explain it here. In this particular case, you have a bearish engulfing of the previous candlestick, but the candlestick itself, the one that's giving you the signal, is very long. It's very uh, large, and that, that wouldn't be a great entry opportunity for you because if you would be looking to short, you would the following week be looking to short there and your stop would be way up here so that's too much risk therefore in situations like that you would pass on those you want something that's a tight really really sharp uh, situation where you've got like a back here we had a nice little candlestick formation and then it was bullishly engulfed that allows you to buy here the tight stop right there all right, up she goes, you make money, and then she turns around and starts showing some weakness, you exit or get stopped out, and then you uh, continue to wait for another opportunity to set up. Right now, we're just waiting for an opportunity. We are marking the candlesticks whenever they show up, whenever they see a buy signal or a sell signal. We're going to mark those for you, but the point of this video is to kind of uh, add to the education process so you can see why certain opportunities I'll walk away from and why others I'll jump on. Let's have a look here at the India Bombay Stock Exchange, BSE index. Uh, you'll notice here you had a nice sell signal, made some good money there. Uh, another one formed here, made some good money here. And last week we told you this one was going to turn around after that news and uh, Egypt started to uh, ease there. We expected this to attempt to reverse and it did the following week. Uh, you got stopped out of your shorts if you were uh, trailing your stop down. You've been stopped out, but you still don't have a buy signal here. You need a bullish engulf, and we don't have that yet. So for the moment, we're just watching this guy. Having a look here at London Financial Times Index. Three weeks ago, we told you you had a buy signal up 
up and she's still moving. Note the high points and the low points. Still in an uptrend, still making you the money, still respecting the uptrend, still be holding and advancing the stops along the way. All right, looking at the NASDAQ here in the U.S. again. Here's our last buy signal. Nice move to the upside. Gets stopped out here. And that's the end of that. We have not seen a new signal here, a new entry opportunity uh, where we wait for one. It's likely going to happen after we get a week to the downside. But until we get that, we're not going to be able to uh, anticipate one. Day traders might be able to use this. But uh, without uh, the right signal, I won't enter the uh, queues. So I'm just going to sit here and watch this one for cash for uh, current. We're still bullish oil, very strong chart here. You'll notice last one, uh, last buy signal we had was about four weeks ago. Nice continuation kind of to the upside here. Uh, very bullish telling you to look for this to continue to press higher, and I would expect that to continue to do that. Uh, keep advancing your stop along the way. Don't get married to any position. Quick look here at the Russell 2000 small cap index. Had a buy opportunity here. Nice move to the upside. Got stopped out right there. Nice buy signal here again. Following week, we got stopped out, and she's just moving to the upside, just like the uh, chart of the NASDAQ. Uh, we got stopped out, and she's moving up without us, but I'll let that happen until I get a buy signal with a proper stop loss limit. I'm not going to uh, add to it, but she's still uh, moving to the upside. We like that, but again, just wait for the right opportunities. S&P 500, one of the stronger charts out there. This one and oil, both really impressive, as is silver. But uh, in any event, the, the main thing I'm looking at here is the note the low points back here. Here, all the way up every single week we've had a higher series of lows this is a very very strong uptrend and she's respecting the uptrend and until you get another buy signal uh, you continue to hold this right now you're still long you haven't had you haven't been stopped out you just keep advancing the stop all the way you should be right here right now your stop should be there and just continue to press higher uh, play ball with it as long as it wants to do that wait for the uh, wait to get stopped out before you take your profit Okay, silver is doing very well. Here was the sell signal we had clearly defined by the bearish engulfing. Nice move to the downside. Told you to look for a bounce, possible uh, support off this middle Bollinger Band line. That's exactly what happened. She turns around, takes off, and now she's made it new highs. This is a stronger chart than gold, but this is the same situation as gold. We did not get a bullish engulfing on this particular chart to take an opportunity here, but we told you that you could have played it another way. You could have found a, an individual miner or something like that. If you'd done that uh, back during that time, uh, had a chart that had a good uh, buy signal on it, something like this, a bullish engulfing, then you would be uh, making really good money this uh, past couple of weeks. Okay, Canada's markets, you'll notice TSX, you're very strong, move to the upside, closing uh, almost half the candlestick is above the upper Bollinger Band line. That is a lot, and you are above the RSI 75 line. We do not have, I'm sorry, 70 line, uh, you're at 75.11, that's pretty overbought there. Uh, we don't have a buy signal here, we don't have an open position here, so we're just watching it in catch, but uh, keep an eye out for the bullish or bearish engulfing signal, but until you get that, uh, just sit in cash on that one, okay? For those of you who have not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, we recommend you do that. Right here on the home page is a video right there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the Perfect Stock Alert trading model. It'll explain the trading model we're using, and how to find the entry point, the exit point, the stop loss limit, the buy signal, the sell signal, so forth and so on. So check that out there. Uh, very good uh, video for you guys. And also on our portfolio, we took a new position this week, uh, later this week, and we expect to uh, make good money on that one. Uh, you'll notice, uh, well, those who can follow our portfolio there, there's a lot of different opportunities we're seeing in the market right now on the long side, so i uh, definitely be trading from that perspective. Have a quick look at our disclaimer, read it and weep. Enjoy your long weekend if you live here in the U.S. Uh, markets will be open again on Tuesday. Until then, uh, be careful, enjoy your family and your friends, and I hope to see you all next week. God bless. Take care.